Hi, bit of babes. What's up? And welcome back to a brand new video. It's Anna Louise, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Today's video is going to be probably you guys' favorite type of video that I do. Um, and it's one of my favorites as well because we are going to be opening my brand new Bed Up Breeding Pair, you guys. I'm so excited. splashyfishstore.com I want to thank them so freaking much for sending these guys out to me I am so excited to open them you guys here's to fingers crossed hoping and praying that they are in there alive of course on the box it says live fish it says fragile handle with care so yeah you guys if you want to see me opening my brand new koi betta placot breeding pair then make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video and with that being said let's open some fish y'all all right you guys so i don't have a freaking box cutter this time so that's not good so my weak self is going to have to use some really dull scissors to open it to open this box i'm going to open it a little bit um first before i show you guys because it has my address and we can't be having that Ooh, okay Grr. you would have thought that i would have done this before filming but i didn't all right finally i think it i got it good enough so i'm going to go ahead and direct the camera down so that you guys can see me opening the box here's our box okay here's our box i do want to say once again these came from from splashy fish from splashyfishtropical.com i got the pleasure of working with them i'm not paid to do this at all they did send these fish out to me for free but i'm not obligated to say anything about them that is good like i i can you know i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys um i do want to say that that working with this fellow i'm just gonna say fellow because i don't want to butcher his name because I, I don't know how to say it but has been a pleasure he like truly has been a pleasure to work with he's so kind and has been so helpful throughout the process anyway the very first thing that i noticed in the box is this right here it says stop acclimation guide new arrival acclimation guide and live arrival guarantee First of all, that's cool. I've actually never received a paper like this in a box before where I have received a live fish. Um, actually, what it does is talk about how to acclimate the fish, and I will go over a little bit of that after I open them to make sure that they are okay. This is what it looks like at the top. That's awesome. We have some really good insulation there. Oh, wow. Okay, let me just pull it out. Cute, cool. I like this. This is really good for insulation, so let me see how I can break it open. Oh, this is hard. Why must I be so weak? There we go. There we go. Ooh, I get two stickers. I love them. So here they are. So cute. Alrighty, on top we have a heating pack right here. Always good. A bubble and I think we have two live babies ah, well they're not babies but you get what I mean let me see alrighty this one is Marshall oh my goodness this one is my male that is named Marshall from once again how I met your mother um, I said that in the last video he is a Nemo Koi he has got the yellow tannins in his water so it's kind of hard to see what he looks like but here he is alive and well and next we have our female who also seems to be alive she's pretty so she's got a yellow tint but she's also really white as well i really actually love her coloring i know once again it is hard to see them in this bag but she's really 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 pretty and i can't wait for you to see her out of the bag but yeah, here she is, if you guys can see. There we go. So pretty. I'm obsessed. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get these guys in their 
breeding container situations. We're gonna get the male in the breeding tank, the female in the jar to get ready for conditioning. And I'll be right back to talk to you guys some more. All right, you guys, we're gonna go put the male right here, Marshall, in the breeding tank to acclimate. Put him right here. And there he is, you guys. He is in there acclimating away, getting used to the water. So there he is. All right, you guys, now we are going to let our female here in the jar that we will use for her to be conditioned. Let me see if I can get her in up here. Come on, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna let her, ooh, okay, that was an over spillage of water. I'm gonna let her acclimate right here for a while. Of course, this is not her permanent home. This is specifically for breeding only. So never ever keep a betta fish in a jar like this for permanent. Two hours later. All right, you guys, I'm ready to let out Lily, our female. Let me grab the scissors. Alrighty. There we go, you guys. Lily is in the holding container. It's hard to really see her colors on the video. I thought she kind of looked more yellow, but now she kind of looks like more white and kind of blue with maybe some yellow on her head, but her lips are also white, which is funny. Oh, it's so messy right here from all the freaking brine shrimp hatchery situation and just spilled water on this, but you know, it'll do. Workspaces when it comes to animals. Are messy just don't at me okay but yeah here she is super pretty super pretty let me get a view from up top i love that patch on her head like how it goes down her body that coloring super pretty all right so now we are going to get marshall out and get him into the breeding tank right on in and there we go i'm going to leave the light off for a while i'm sorry that oh wow he's gorgeous okay sorry that there is a glare he's super beautiful i'm gonna leave the light off for a while just because i think that it will you know give less stress to him while he explores the breeding tank and also this is one of your very first videos watching on my that you're watching on my channel breeding tanks have to be bare and empty like this it's easier when it comes to the eggs so that is why this tank is completely bare but do you see how gorgeous he is he's so beautiful i love that white base freaking love it he is stunning you guys so there's marshall you guys so now that they are in their new temporary living situations um, I just want to go over what they sent in the box I'm not gonna read it all by any means or anything but it gives you an acclimation guide which is really really awesome because this just like this just really helps you if you're not for sure exactly what to do and you're nervous about like making sure your fish are okay once you transport them into their home. That's awesome. And then on the back, it even has their live arrival guarantee. So basically it talks about how they guarantee your fish. They talk about how that their fish have a live guarantee. It says the two hour window means you send them like the picture and everything and then you will get like your money back and everything. So that's really good. I think it's really awesome that they include this. So as for packing Packaging. It was really well. You had really good insulation. You even had the little bubble This little bubbler mailer thing bubble mailer bubble 
thing and a heating pack so that's a big thumbs up for that like i said this is from splashy fish from splashy fish they do have more than just bettas on their website they have plants freshwater fish and they have snails they have a lot on there to choose from and i do want to thank them again so much for sending me these fish like i said really great people to work with truly i mean that from the bottom of my heart i'm not just saying that and i'm not under any obligation to give them a positive review this is all you know coming from the heart is all honest i wouldn't tell you guys to order from someone that i didn't think was you know good and that's coming from a beta breeder myself and yeah you guys i really hope you love my new beta breeding pair please let me know down below do you like them which one of them is your favorite do you like their names really want to know your opinions on everything because you guys are what i do this for um well i do it for me too but i'm here to please you guys you get what i'm saying anyway <laughs> i want to say thank you to my patrons as always jeremy maddie davis mercy janae casey mel vicky steven and vanessa thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being a patron it truly means the world to me if you guys want to be a patron the link will be in the description box down below it helps me out a lot and you guys get a lot of awesome perks and with that being said please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and to follow me along on my brand new bed beta breeding journey you can do that by hitting my face right up there and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right over there and it would mean the world to me if you guys would do so and i hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and i'll see you guys in the next one bye